I want to just thank the Prime Minister and the members of ministers today for the for giving back the opportunity to strengthen our advocacy because the foundation of BARP is advocacy. And through our advocacy, we were able today to achieve the, to achieve the strengthening of communications because communication is very, very important. You could have the best projects, but if there's, lack, if there's a void in communication, you can have some issues. And we recognize that. And therefore, we welcome the opportunity to actively work in the interests of our seniors and the seniors of Barbados also with the Transport Board and the EBC and of course in due course with the NIS. And so that rather than walk with the red pen, you know, just correcting things, we fix them, we fix them up front. So that, that, um, that area that has been open, we can definitely work there and we do look forward to accepting that challenge, but will rise to that challenge. Speaking very briefly on the matter of aging in place, we feel very strongly that there are persons within our society who would want to age in place. And we are prepared to strengthen our work. We do a lot of work with the Ministry of People in Parliament and Elder Affairs. So we want to strengthen that work in the interest of persons who want to age in place, that policies be implemented to encourage that aging in place, maybe as the Prime Minister spoke earlier, maybe you know, giving duty-free concessions or what for persons who have to retrofit their homes, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, you want to encourage persons to, per, per, children to, in, to take their parents to live with them. So, you know, you give them some subsidy or whatever to encourage that, that, kind, that type of living because that intergenerational uh, arrangement strengthens societies. So we want to, it's not only about, our theme is healthy, aging, aging strong, but you also want to strengthen communities and you have to strengthen communities with projects. So we look forward to working with uh, Minister Humphrey on that. And of course, the, the huge one with the looking at the day, daycare um, centers at, in addition to a senior citizens villages throughout Barbados, we welcome that opportunity. BARP is 23,000 strong. We have a, a paid staff of 12 and a volunteer base of a board of nine. But we are, we, we are willing, we are ready, and we, we are able, and we have the expertise. We also refer to BARP as a reservoir of knowledge. So Prime Minister, I want to assure you that this, the, the task assigned to BARP, we can do it. Thank you. We can do it, and it will put a lot of our seniors a lot of their minds to work and that is what we want to do to keep our seniors active to keep strengthening the society because then it means to it, it augurs then for a stronger country and we want to live in a strong healthy society so thank you so much for the opportunity